what we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. If I lived in China or even Russia or any totalitarian country, maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. So just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. to live a long life longevity has its place but I'm not concerned about that now I just want to do God's will and he's allowed me to go up to the mountain and I've looked over and I've seen the promised land I may not get there with you But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory. One day, we will have to stand before the God of history, and we will talk in terms of things we've done. It seems that I can hear the God of history saying, that was not enough, for I was hungry, and he fed me not. Right now, you get jobs in America right now through kinship, friendship and politics and you got a lot of young people walking around no jobs Tracy uh, I mean no, what should mention names friend of mine has an MBA can't find a job right. she gone to California and then she's gone to California now to look for a job MBA MBA okay I already told you about my son's PhD Okay, I can name, I can name you. I mean, you won't have the time to know all these people that I know who can't find jobs, who are highly educated and qualified. Friendship, kinship, and politics. That's what gets you a job in the United States of America today. Not merit. Not merit. Merit has nothing to do with it. Anytime a white man with a prison record can get a job and a black man without a prison record cannot get and they have the same qualification. You, isn't that clear? I mean, how, what kind of picture I have to paint? 